ഹലോ ഓൾ ഇൻ ടുഡേസ് ക്ലാസ് വിൽ ഡീൽ വിത്ത് ദ ടോപ്പിക് ഓഫ് ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ലാപ്ലേസ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം ഫസ്റ്റ് ലെറ്റ്സ് സി വോട്ട് ഇസ് ദി ഫോമുല ഓഫ് ദി ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ലാപ്ലേസ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം ഇൻ ദ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ഫോം വി റൈറ്റ് ദ ടൈം സിംഗിൾ എക്സ് ഓഫ് ടി വിച്ച് ഇസ് ദ ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ലാപ്ലേസ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഓഫ് എസ് ആസ് വൺ ബൈ ടു പൈ ജെ ഇൻറ്റഗ്രൽ ഓവർ സിഗ്മ മൈനസ് ജെ ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി to sigma plus j infinity x of s into e raised to st ds this is the standard formula for the inverse laplace transform but the above computation using integration and multiplication by the complex exponential it's quite tedious as well as time consuming so usually what we perform is that we find the inverse laplace transform by using the basic concepts of partial fraction that we have already dealt in our math subjects we know that partial fraction can be used only for the proper rational functions a rational function a proper rational function is a function where the order of the numerator is less than the order of denominator for example if x of s is equal to n of s by d of s where n of s is the numerator polynomial and d of s is the denominator polynomial which is given by the equation bm s raised to m plus bm minus 1 s raised to m minus 1 plus up to say b naught by s raised to n plus a n minus 1 s raised to n minus 1 plus a 1 s plus a naught then if numerators order is less than denominators order we can straight away perform the partial fraction but there are cases when the numerators order is equal to or greater than the denominators order so in such case what is being performed that is being discussed in the last section that is if m is equal to n m means the order of numerator n means the order of the denominator that is if the degree of numerator is equal to degree of denominator then what we do is that we divide the numerator by denominator and we get the polynomial of the form x of s is equal to c plus n dash of s by d of s that is the new polynomial and c is nothing but a constant and the new polynomial n dash of s by d of s in that case the condition for proper rational function that is degree of numerator will be less than degree of denominator will be satisfied but here we have a constant c so we know that one has got inverse laplace transform of delta of t so naturally a constant c means there will be in the inverse laplace transform form a term denoted by c into delta of t for example if suppose the value of c is equal to 4 then while taking the inverse laplace transform we will have in the expression of x of t a term 4 into delta of t that is the basics of laplace transform so numerator's degree is equal to denominator's degree implies that inverse laplace transform of x of s has an impulse inverse laplace transform of x of s is nothing but x of t now there is second case that is if suppose degree of numerator is greater than degree of denominator then again we will divide the numerator by denominator and we'll write x of s as terms with power of s greater than or equal to 0 plus new fraction that is numerator of s by denominator of s where naturally the new fraction degree of numerator will be less than degree of denominator and due to the first term that is terms with power of s greater than or equal to 0 the x of t will include impulses as well as their derivatives so these are the three cases that you will encounter while performing the partial fraction expansion for taking the inverse laplace transform so that's just a brief introduction about the finding of inverse laplace transform that's all thank you